Shadows in Our Blood, version 2.0, by Haplo. This story occurs around the time of eavesdropping. Tohid was a very popular politician who was very vocal against both the mechanists and Sheriff Truart. He had foreseen the rise of a totalitarian regime made of an alliance between the mechanists and the sheriff. In his numerous speeches and rallies, he managed to gather a strong following and become a serious threat. However, about two weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared. People started asking questions at first, but as often happens, gradually forgot about him. That was until last night, when he reappeared on the scene, having become a mechanist and ardent fan of the sheriff. In a speech in the Soul Forge, he denounced all his previous claims and called himself a servant of Karras. This caused outrage among his followers, who subsequently abandoned him. Of course, I never cared about any of this. Up until now, that is. Now that the mechanists and the sheriff want me dead, I need to find out what exactly went on with Tohid Affair. The Tohid Affair. My only clue is that his disappearance happened in this small nearby city where he was going to give a speech. Checking out the local police station is a good start. It's a long way. I'd better travel light tonight. Whoa! Holy shit! Look at that guy! He needs help. Damn. Man. Search the police station for information about Tohid. Get back to the sewers when done. Sewers, eh? Police station, eh? I thought this took place in some kind of a building that wasn't the police station. Like a friggin' I don't know. Well, I guess that is about right. Anyways, loading is loading and it's kind of all good. This... This alcove is not dark at all, even though it's got edges that are dark and there's a spider there and, and, and stuff and it's... <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to hit him with a shovel, only the shovel is sort of not there. It was used to pick a hole in the wall, which is the incorrect tool for the job. You got to farm with a flamethrower, and then that's what you do. Yup. Now, apparently... Apparently I don't have a map. That's amazing. But this sewer hatch is absolument delightful. And, uh, I'm going to try doing something special here because, well, not really special, but, uh, <clears throat> last few, you know, missions I played where I played them before, I didn't make much effort to do anything special. And this time I'm trying to I'm gonna try to find all the loot and maybe do a bit of ghosting, you know? Other than just running around like Oh, I remember this, I remember that. Because although I think I don't remember all that about this mission, I probably actually do, judging by the last ones I played, as I said. Is uh -oh. that you? I thought I saw something. Oh. Hmm, nothing. Nothing there now. Okay, lucky light switch. Was it lucky or was it foreknowledge? I don't know. There's a secret door at the end of the cell block which can be opened by a switch in the captain's room. The, the door leads to the Mechanist's advanced interrogation facility, the place everybody calls the Meat Mincer. Apparently, it's the place they keep political prisoners and put them under the most horrible mental and physical torture imaginable. All in the name of religion. Even thinking about it gives me the shivers. And I think that stupid taffer Benny wants to sneak in there and see what it looks like inside. <laughs> Benny is a stupid taffer, isn't he? But wait a minute. Cell blocks? Cell blocks? There's a secret door at the end of the cell block. Where's the cell block? I don't know. This all seems a bit so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We should check to see if... I don't have a sword, so I can't wantonly slash these banners, but I've got two waters, one rope. That's it. What about here? Oh, nothing. Boy, I didn't really come prepared, did I? Garrett? More like non prepare it. Mm, come on. Well, he isn't a parrot, but, you know, that's, that's fine, I guess. <clears throat> I wonder how I'm going to get through here without getting killed. This is something to ponder on a cold, rainy day while you're bumping somebody with your chubby stomach for trying to steal your tax money in a little Surrender now, goblet, stupid guy. I have to try to follow from this side, then. 
Oh, damn. Ha. Uh -huh. Amazing. You've messed with the wrong man. You don't see me. I'm in the dark, you jerk. Maybe I'll just go on this side then. Careful. Pish and tush. Push. Push. Oi. Well, at least in this mission I can pick things with locks. I guess this is unperfect supremable or something. Uh, don't worry, I'll find you. And exactly who did he think he was hearing? Never mind, I'm tired of you guys. Ghosting, I did my best. I'm gonna give up because the Simpsons is a very good role model. This guy seems hey! stuck. You guys are dumb. You guys are dumb. Yeah. You just head on back there, Buster. And a simple lockpicking sends that guy into a second alert frenzy like an idiot. <coughs> oh, 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 I heard a lockpick, which you'd actually do in real life, but this game isn't real life. Are you completely crazy? God, I want real life in my video games. That is clearly the worst thing ever. I do want cards, however. Hey, you, go and look at that pack of cards as a distraction. Oh, hey. Good old Benny. Our jobs will be very boring without that drunken fool. This week it's been his turn to carry the armory key, and today, for the third time in two days, he forgot the combination for the armory safe. The captain got so pissed off that he wrote the combination in big letters on the notice board next to the window in the cafeteria. We all laughed our guts out. Poor Benny hasn't been seen since. I wonder where he's hiding. Probably in some hole, drinking himself blind. Hope we, f uh, hope we won't need to get the riot gear from the armory safe tonight. Thinking about the cafeteria, I could do with a coffee right now. Don't know why the captain locks it every day at 5 p.m. and takes the key home with him along with the key to his room. Perhaps he's afraid we might skip our duties and spend the night in there. Both the captain and his deputy are so paranoid, locking their offices and taking their keys home with them every night. Oh, voice, why are you so... Burr, 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 Finn, possibly because it's a thing. I know you're a roll. I'm AI and I behave in a strange manner. Hi, how's it going? Jeez. These guys, they're sleeping, however, and I don't know. I'm gonna try to see if they've got purses on them while they're sleeping. That's. <laughs> One of them did. Amazing. For loot that I don't even have an objective for, here I'm about to come. Oh, man. So, I remember this mission having, like, a really cool part near the end. Uh, which I'm not going to explain, but I guess it's that meat mincer play- Oh! Hey! There's some coins! It's amazing! Yeah. The meat mincer has apparently been extended in this mission here. Which is cool, because I guess when you have a torturous place, you've got to make it even more torturous, because more of anything is good, including Brussels sprouts. Man, I love me some Brussels sprouts. No, I don't really. Yes, okay, this is the hallway. Here's a room with... Hang on, I wonder if these guys have got... Ew! <laughs> I don't know what this says, and I don't even know what language it is so that I can look it up on Babelfish or Google Translate or whatever they have nowadays with these newfangled... Man, I remember it used to be called Babelfish. I don't know if that's even still around. But... Looks like that's just it. Okay, fine. Uh-oh, which way are you going? That what way. was that? Good, okay. Oh, I hear so Ah! Okay, I guess I don't want to go that way just yet. So... Whoa, it has a really fast way of turning. And... Yeah, I think I remember that sort of place, but don't quite know what happens with it, I guess. Yeah, this guy's got a short walking patrol, whatever the heck that means. I don't know what else you'd patrol with running or biking. Imagine if there'd be like a bike patrol, that'd be pretty awesome. You'd just be like, <laughs> be like pedaling a bike, come back here, you thief, and it'd be all silly and completely cartoonish and not at all effective. I think that police need to be more cartoonish and not at all effective. Then everybody would be safer. <laughs> well, and by everybody, I guess I mean really brutal, violent gang members. But they wouldn't really be safer because they don't seem to like being safe. Yes, that guy's sleeping in case you yeah, didn't quite notice. And yes, there's a bottle behind the door in case you didn't quite notice. 
Uh, and there's somebody walking up there, maybe? In case that wasn't totally obvious. Okay. What now? Clown face McGee. Well, I guess this is just a laughing in the hiding bush room. Oh, except there's a there's a gold thing there. Okay, 517 loot. I don't know how much loot is in here, but I guess I'll have to look it up in the loot list just to find the maximum amount or something, unless there's an optional objective telling me, hey, buddy, you got all the loot. That would be, that would be uh, actually pretty good. But it's okay if it doesn't, I suppose. I hope we didn't add any more loot in the second version, because then the loot list would be wrong. And but I, I said I was going to ghost, but seriously, I never keep my word on that, because these, these dudes are just in my way, and anybody that's in my way, I just respond with violence. I mean, jeez, this is the way to do things. Captain. Oh, really? What? What? Really? What? What's with this hallway? There's guys everywhere. Guys? Guys? Well, I mean, this might have been some kind of a girl. A female, if you will, if you want to use dictionary words. <laughs> I really take these, these Let's Plays very seriously, don't I? Just walk around like, Oh, I'm skipping around in a mission involving torture. Let's talk about weasels. And everybody's happy, I guess. Clerk. Or if you're, like, British or something, maybe it's Clark. That seems like another one of those odd differences. Damn! I left my office and was playing around with the guards in the locker room. <laughs> playing around, eh? Juvenile humor up in his ass. When the captain came in and caught us red-handed. <laughs> More like something else handed. <laughs> Anyways, Joran swears he saw him come from across the hallway, not down the stairs. I wonder if he has a secret passage from his office to there. Oh, right! There is a secret thing downstairs to the to the cab. Yeah, right now I remember it took me forever to find it on my first playthrough. That guy is in a really inconvenient spot, I gotta say. And he's kind of there. Anyway, I kind of want to go downstairs now and find that... <coughs> Secret Passage, which isn't that. That's a skylight. It's completely not the same thing. If you confuse a Secret Passage with a skylight, you might find yourself on a roof. And I guess that would be bad, question mark. I don't freaking know. Did I try this door already? I guess so. I don't have a map, so... <laughs> so... It's, uh... Yeah, there's a secret switch, and I, I think it was up on one of these. Like, maybe this side or something? Pretty sure it was up on one of these wood things, and I had to like look all around for it. Um, I I saw something. Uh oh, oh, there it is. Jeez, man, that's a lot more. Vis Maybe that's one of the changes he made, because I don't know. It seemed. Uh oh, yeah, there's like a little peephole here for some reason. Maybe that's to, like, let you know even more that there's a secret passage or something? Or it's just for plot, like, people can peep in on the guard training room? I don't know why you do that, though. It's not very erotic or jerkish. Well, it kind of is jerkish, but it's not as jerkish as an actual peeping Tom. So, uh... Oh. Oh, clicking around for a switch. Man, I'm gonna have to look off camera, because last time I was all just like, Where's the switch? Hmm. Walking around at the wall is not there. Oh. There it is. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought. I don't know, my focus kind of widens when I'm not recording, because it's like I'm not thinking I have to be entertaining or something. I'm just looking around like, oh, looking around. Uh. That book is a total jerk and does not want to be read. Are these glasses loot? No. Sometimes they are, you know? Sometimes they are. Captain, due to the overcrowded situation in the Dayport prison, we'll be sending you the following prisoners in the next few days. Haplo, a drawmed addict. Every bloody week he claims he's going to quit, but he does not. Wastes everyone's time by making them play nonsensical missions. Oh, come on, dude. Give yourself more credit. These missions are extremely sensical. Some of the most sensical missions I have ever seen in my sense-making career. Whatever. Freddy Fox, chicken thief. Insists he is a car mechanic. What the hell is a car? <laughs> Gloria Creep. Loitering with intent. 
to do something or other, and being a creep in general. Teddy bear thief. Lady Nightwalker, walking the streets at nights and offering to keep the police officers warm. Wow. <laughs> She's gonna be happy. Marupkpa. Marup Marupkpa. Wow, in English those letters would normally be different. It's so hard to pronounce. Crime's too many to list here. Nice thing to say to your partner. <laughs> Nikki, constantly correcting the errors in the police bulletins. Peter Smith, a professional ghost. Suspected of ghosting through ladies' changing rooms. <laughs> Ruins perfectly good puzzles by solving them using brute force methods. Sheriff Truitt. <laughs> and of course, Peter Smith is one of the uh, old school ghosters on the Eidos forums there, you know. Uh, I guess that's pretty funny. I like these self-referential or like outwardly referential meta letters or metters that uh, Haplo puts in his are pretty funny. Uh, oh. Wait. If that switch doesn't open this door, then what does it do? Did... Wait a minute. Wait, what? Well, what if I close... What? Oh my god, I found a bottle in the secret passage! That's hilarious! Somebody's been drinking here! Now that I'm done with falsetto. Okay, well, since I don't seem to know what this switch does, maybe it's a bug or something? It's supposed to close that? I don't know. But... I guess I'll leave it like it is. But hang on. I pressed this switch and some other... switch got pressed. Well, there's definitely another switch on the other side that opens this. Because I heard it flip, but it wasn't that one because it stayed down. What is going on here? Also, this room is pretty dark even for me in game. I don't know what's wrong, but... I don't know what's wrong. I think this thing is... Like... Messed up. Where's... This one? I have no idea. Never mind. I'm just going to try to loot this room and get on with things. I have no idea... I guess that safe switch does something else that I'll probably read about later in a in a text or something. Can I change a coat hanger's position? No, yeah, I can't get out of here, I guess. Oh. Oh. Oh! We can bring light to the world through the room switch. That's an incredible concept. Why didn't I think of patenting that? I, d I, I don't know. Anyways, back to the other side of the upstairs. No, 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 not gonna blackjack. No, I'm gonna leave her. She, she's the token... You know, f female guard walking around here with a relatively long route. She's a token. I'm going to use her in a video game machine. It wasn't funny at all. Jeez. Okay, well, I think I'm going to just leave it off here for now. And, you know, next time I'll keep playing. Imagine that concept. See you guys later.